with your best me in 23, where we are helping you to become your best self this new year. And today we are focusing on ways we can let go of the past in order to move forward more productively. I could use this one here. And here to tell us and help us how to do just that is clinical psychologist and author of Get Out of the Red Zone, Transform Your Stress and Optimize True Success, Dr. Elizabeth Lombardo. Dr. E, let's give it up for Dr. E, everybody. Thanks a lot for being here. Good to see you and good to have you here. Oh, it's always great to be here. Thank and I you. feel like I need to talk to you. you know? I'm like, Let me get my well, I see your couch over there, here. so we'll yeah, have a little time you know, a little, a little later. Yeah. Let's talk about this. In, in a world where we get so much you know, negative news, especially with what we do and, you know, for a living, how can I still be happy when everything around me seems to be going straight to hell? Yeah. Well, it's important to realize that happiness is not dependent on external circumstances. It's about your internal state of mind. Right? There's always good and not so good in the world. And so the key to happiness happiness is really to optimize your mindset. Not in a Pollyanna sort of everything perfect kind of way, but focusing on what you want to create in your life. And how do we know if we're just feeling kind of down or sad or if it's something much more than that and we need to actually seek help? How do we know? What are the signs we it's look for? It's really important that we know those signs. So there are many signs, some of which are trouble focusing and concentrating, difficulty doing everyday activities, something that is seemingly as simple as brushing your teeth or having a conversation, problems with sleep, and that could be not being able to sleep well, but it could also be excessive sleep. Feeling sad more often than not, feeling what I call overwhelmingly overwhelmed or feeling hopeless, and then a lack of interest in things that you used to be interested in. All right, so it's a new year. The best me in 2023, you know? Let's talk about, you know, finding ways to get better. How can you sort of reboot your mental health? Yes. Let's talk about rebooting your mental health. They came up with the three P's so that we all can remember what those are. The first one is prime your brain for positivity, right? If, for example, if social media stresses you out, stay off of it or set a timer so you're only on for a certain amount of time. Second, prioritize your sleep. One in three Americans are not getting the sleep that they need, and we know that optimal sleep is important for your mental and physical well-being. And then third, practice gratitude. Bask in feelings of appreciation for people, experiences, things in your life. We know from brain scans that when we experience gratitude, the activity in the stress centers in our brain actually decreases. I think always reminding yourself, too, that someone else always has it worse than you, mm -hmm. you know, that spirit of gratitude. You're right. I want to ask because there are a lot of parents out there watching, and when you're in the moment with your kids and they are making you feel really upset, really frustrated. Is that the red zone? How do we, <laughs> how do we navigate that and not say things that we're gonna regret yes. later? I think we've all been there as a parent. Yes, we have. I have been there with not one, but two hands over my mouth <laughs> trying not to say things. So this concept of the psychological red zone is stress goes from zero to 10. And at seven out of 10 or higher, that's when we're in the red zone. And in the red zone, we don't always think or act rationally. So I have a saying, if you're in the red zone at a seven out of 10 or higher, don't let anything out of your mouth because that's when we say things we later regret and don't put anything in your mouth because that's when we consume things we later regret <laughs> yeah so no maybe. cocktail or two or three or four. Or Don't do it. Another cookie or whatever. Yeah, it may be. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That's me. You I sort of right try to alcohol, eat my yeah. <laughs> for a little bit, right? If you need to do it, you can do it. Again, yeah. thank you. I think we're trying to get the best at, you know, out of her that we can. Yeah. Rhiannon is like, I got 16 more questions. <laughs> to ask you. I could go all day. I'll be here. Dr. E, thank you again. Good thank you. Have. Thank you so much. And Get Out of the Red Zone is out now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.